Welcome back to the Kit Lab. Today, we're going to be going through some ball manipulation drills that you can do on your own throughout the whole season and even in pre-season. Let's get it. Drill one is all about aerial ball control. You should be using the instep of your foot to control the ball the majority of the time during the game as it's your foot's largest surface area. Start nice and easy, lace it with one foot, instep with the other. Try to relax and get into a good rhythm. I usually swap feet after 20 good quality touches. Like any drill, it's important to work both feet, this is no different. As you get more confident, you should progress to doing kick-ups using the instep only. Again, rhythm is key. If this is too easy, try to get the ball even higher before controlling it. I find that this is the best way to practice controlling those high balls that you often dread in the game. It's also good for your overall touch when setting a throw in or even passing the ball that's in the air. The second drill is about manipulating the ball using the sole of your foot. If you analyse the top players in the world, you will notice they often use this technique. The more small and quick touches you can make in tight spaces, the harder it is for the defenders to tackle you. There's a few variations that I like to practice to keep my feet sharp and that relate to in-game situations the most. Watch the different variations and practice each one in your spare time. Remember to be light on your toes and practice using both feet. Dribbling, something we all should practice more. You only need a couple of cones to mark the zigzag line. The key dribbling technique that we are working on is the outside hook. A very simple but one of the most effective techniques in the world of football. If you watch Messi closely, do you will see that this is his go-to skill to change direction. As you get more comfortable, try to go quicker. Don't forget to practice the hook using both feet. Finally, this drill is a bit unorthodox but it's a great one to improve ball manipulation in tight spaces. This drill works on both your balance, concentration and muscular endurance on your legs as you find it extremely draining if you do it at a good tempo. The second alternative is slightly different but you're still working on the same element. That's it for today's episode guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to use both feet when doing each drill as it's really important. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and let us know what you want to see next. I'm Zach, peace.